Hello everyone. In our previous video, we had a session on understanding the basic terminologies of SDN, why it is needed and SDN architecture. In recent years, the network usage and the network infrastructure are growing at a faster pace to meet the business needs. This growth leads to a tremendous increase in career network traffic. At the same time, network administrators are facing a lot of challenges and of course, they need to ensure availability, security, quality of services, all without increasing operating and equipment costs. This is our third session. The topic we plan to discuss is rule placement with open flow, which we are going to see it as a two session. The outline of today's session are the basics of SDN and open flow network architecture, open flow protocol, challenges of rule placement. How many controllers are required to cover a network? What is the best placement positions for each SDN controller? What is the cost for each SDN controller? What should be the capacity of the controller? How to manage multiple switches in the same network? What should be the capacity of the controller? And how to manage the rules and network policies in a centralized way? How to deploy a virtualized SDN controllers? We can categorize these questions into three. The first one is SDN rule placement problem. SDN controller placement problem and the last one is SDN hypervision placement problem. Rule placement solution deals with which rules must be deployed in the network and where, what are the different types of rules are there for access control, routing policies, traffic shaping or traffic engineering such as rules for load balancing, real time decisions, how to handle a rule conflicts or policies, flow rules installed in reactive, proactive or hybrid way. SDN provides a separation between the control plane and the data plane functions of network using a protocol that modifies the forwarding tables in a network switches. This separation makes it possible to optimize network and quickly respond to the changes in network usage without the need for manual reconfiguration to the existing infrastructure or purchasing a new hardware. The controller has a broad view of the entire network infrastructure and its status. The controller makes it possible for the networks to interact with the applications and efficiently reconfigure themselves at need, allowing them to implement multiple logical network topologies on a single common network fabric such as OpenFlow. OpenFlow is considered as a one of the first software defined networking standards. It is defined as a communication protocol in SDN environment that enables the SDN controller can directly interact with the forwarding plane of the network devices such as switches and routers both physical or virtual. The open network architecture consists of three layers, one or more open flow virtual or physical switches or routers, one or two open flow controllers and one or more open flow applications. The open flow protocol defines the interface between the open flow controller and an open flow switch. This you can see in this picture. The open flow protocol allows the open flow controller to instruct the open flow switch on how to handling the incoming data packets. The open flow switch may be programmed to identify and categorize the packets from an ingress port based on the various packet header fields. Process the packets in various ways including modifying the header and drop or push the packets to a particular ingress port to the open flow controller. To work in an open flow environment, any device that want to communicate to an SDN controller must support the open flow protocol. SDN controller and switches need to implement open flow specifications so that they can understand the common language of open flow messages. To control network switches, SDN controller will push rules into switches so that they can take decisions when network traffic hits them. Switches need to maintain such rules in open flow table. In open flow, such rules are called as flows and they are stored in flow tables. The flow contains three types of information, match pattern, action, counters. Match pattern or rule to be constructed from 12 different packet header fields with various bit widths. The values computed by the switch based on IP address in the packets. All packets making true the matching pattern predicates are said to belong to the same flow. Action. The action specified in the action field of the rule are applied to every packet of the corresponding flow. The most common actions are forwarding, dropping or modifying the packets. The counters is used to keep track how many packets are matched to the flow. To construct rule placement, the inputs are 
traffic flows, policies, rule space, resource constraints. Traffic flow which represents the network traffic, policies which are defined by the operator can be classified into two categories, the endpoint policy and the routing policy. The endpoint policy defines where to deliver the packets. For example, we have to choose the cheapest link and the routing policies which indicates the paths that flows must follow before delivering the packets. Rule space which defines the set of all possible rules for selections depending on the application. Resource constraints such as memory, bandwidth, CPU capacity of the controller and nodes. Rule placement solution must satisfy these resource constraints. Rule placement is a challenging one due to two reasons. The first one is resource limitation, the second one is signaling overhead. Resource limitation means a large number of rules is required to support policies whereas network resources are unfortunately limited. The second one is signaling overhead which means installing or updating a rules for flows which triggers the exchange of open flow messages. Bad rule placement solution might also cause frequent flow table misses that would require the controller to act. So now we come to our end of session. I hope you would understand the basic concepts of STN, the layers in open flow network architecture, what is open flow protocol, challenges faced by rule placement. In the next session we are going to see the rule placement with open flow much more deeper. Thank you.